Hi, this is David Marsh with eminitradingstrategies.com. This is the weekly update for April 12th through April 16th, 2010. We had a pretty good week trading the S&P. We had two one and done days. That, those were Monday and Tuesday. Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, we had two or three trades. That was it. Still a really quick, good week. Let's go ahead and talk about Monday. Um, first trade was an EET. Okay, I've got two screens here. I take my EETs off of a faster chart than I do my NSEs. But you'll see here we're in no zone, and then we come out of no zone. And the NSC that follows is a higher probability NSE. Okay, well, taking the EET, that's an early entry technique. That's more of an aggressive trade, but it gets you in the trade before the NSC happens. So it gets you short right around here before you even get the NSC. Well, EET was a nice winner. Either you're going for four ticks, but some traders would take a trade like this and trade for even more because it, once you got the NSC, you typically have about three or four ticks profit. And because it's a higher probability trade, you can even take more off that trade. Okay, so that was Monday. That was a nice one and done. Tuesday, short trade right here, right after the opening bell. Boom, beautiful one and done. Had some real nice NSEs on Tuesday, but nice one and done. Wrap it up for the day. Now, Wednesday, we had some pretty slow action. We had two EETs. The first one was a loser. Okay, this is the short entry. Here's a stop loss. It started going in our favor, not quite enough for uh, a full profit, and ended up stopping us out right here. And then we had a short EET here, ran down real nice for a good seven to eight ticks profit. So we lost three ticks on this EET, recovered eight plus on that EET. Nice day on Wednesday. Now Thursday was a longer day for some. We had a report coming out at one or two o'clock in the afternoon. So depending on how you traded it, could have been a quicker day or some just took a break and waited for after the reports. But the first EET was a losing trade. That was down two ticks. You see we have a long EET here. Great trade, but unfortunately there is a report and we don't trade just before a report. So even though it looks really good, we didn't take that trade. Let me show you another chart on Thursday. We had a pullback trade right around here and that was a four tick winner. So we lost two ticks, made four ticks. And then some came right back after the report, waited for the report to come out. And you have a small loser here if you were trading the NSEs, followed by a full recovery, and then another profitable trade right there. So pretty good quick day on Thursday. Some just waited and came back to later in the afternoon. And then on Friday, first trade was an EET loser. It's a short EET signal. Came right up, stopped us out. You see there's a nice EET short trade there, but the next trade we had was a NSC, okay, short NSC there. And this is it's about the time Goldman Sachs, they announced on CNBC that Goldman got uh, charged with fraud. The market just started tanking. Traders got that NSC, made a full recovery and profit off that trade. It was a beautiful trade. So really a good week, short week trading. Most days we were done within the first hour, so really good uh, week day trading the S&P. So, um, also this weekend I'm going to put a couple of live videos that I did this past week of trading live the S&P and talking about following the rules. So I'll send an email out with those video links once they're up. Thanks for watching.